Hi, my name is Ophir Gabay, and I'm bringing you another QuickBooks Online tutorial today. We're going to discuss the bundle feature that QuickBooks just released, I would say about two weeks ago. So this is relatively new, but it has been something that has been on the mind of, of many users. Um, and if you take a look, here's a question from a year ago by this user. Uh, that he posted in the community forum on Intuit and he was uh, asking if there's the ability to group items or services to make his estimating complex projects quicker and easier for his clients to view and unfortunately I had to say no because at the time this feature wasn't released but I'm happy to to announce that you know as of like about two weeks ago we can solve this now. So I'm, I'm going to make a quick video and uh, post it and send it to this person so they have uh, so they're they'll be informed that now they can do that. So let's go over really briefly how to create a bundle and we'll go through the ins and outs so that you can use this on your business so I'm using a sample QuickBooks Online company file. Um, you want to click the gear icon and then products and services to go into your products and services list. Now this is a construction landscaping company. So we have here fountains set up as a parent, as a category of uh, products that contains concrete, pump, and rock fountain. Now I want to make this a bundle and I'll show you how to do that. So let's click new and now you'll see the new um, bundle option that we have. So let's click on that and I want to create a bundle and I'm going to call it Fountain Setup. I'll leave the SKU empty. You could add a picture if you'd like. Um, so for a sales description, I just want to put in uh, Fountain Setup. And this is what's going to appear on the invoice or sales receipt that you're going to give a customer whenever you're using this item. So Fountain Setup includes uh, base and pump alright so once we have that sales information in there we have two options here we could either choose to display the bundle components on the invoice whenever sending it to a, a customer or we could choose to hide it in which in which case only the the name and the sales information that we entered is going to show up. Uh, so I'll briefly show you how both uh, what it looks like for both options. So let's add a product. I want to add the pump, and you could also add quantities. So let's say that the, the fountain setup you can create a basic or an advanced and depending on which one you choose you can have different quantities of items that are included with each bundle so let's say for this one we have three pumps and an installation and uh, the installation is going to be two hours let's just say All right, so we have that set up. Now it's going to take the price that of the items that are already in our list, so it doesn't give you a price area on the bundle. But that's that's perfectly fine. We don't need the price in there. We just need the quantity uh, that we're going to adjust for each bundle that we're creating. And for now, I'm going to choose not to display the bundle components. And let's save and close. 
Alright, so now we have the fountain set up and we can go ahead and invoice one of our customers for that. So let's invoice cool cars. And let's choose our newly created fountain setup. Alright, so once you choose that, you'll see that it adds the, the items that are in the bundle that we set up. It clicks the, the taxable, non taxable for you. And it brings in the rate from whenever you set up the, the, the price that you set up that particular product or service for. So this is perfect. Now, since we didn't choose to click that box, this these items, if we go into print or preview, you'll see that they don't appear on the invoice. So if we scroll down here, you'll see that it just says fountain setup and that the sales description that we entered into uh, when we created the bundle. And then you have just one quantity because it's one fountain setup bundle, which includes the, the three pumps and the two hours of labor at 145. This is great. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> All right, so let's go back into that fountain setup. And I want to edit this. I want to edit it to show the bundle components. Now, you, you might want to show this if you're just looking to use bundles to quickly create invoices um, when you're using like a default set of products or services that, and you don't want to keep having to go through the, the motions of entering it one by one so again let's uh, invoice cool cars and we're going to do the same fountain setup and this time let's click save and this time when we click print or preview we'll see that we get a different layout now we, we actually have the, the main bundle up on top with the price and the amount that carries over all the way to the right and below it we have the components of the bundle um, which is the three pumps and the two hours of installation labor so this is this is also very nice and I can see uh, the use for this different types of businesses so if you have any questions please feel free to email me I'll leave my email in the description and the comments um, you can also leave your questions in the comments um, and thank you for watching you can also subscribe to my channel if you want to see uh, future updates in QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop I also do Excel videos so. Uh, feel free to, to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. Alright, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.